This is a full body beginner workout with dumbbells. Get on your mat. We're gonna start with side leg lifts. So bring your torso forward. We're working the hips and the medial glutes, side butt, getting rid of those hip dips. All right, bring this knee forward. Again, chest forward, because we're gonna bring this leg back. 15 reps, toe down, up one, and slow lower. Two. So you're not gonna be able to go as high. This is three because of the way that my hips are right now. Four, five, don't sink. Six, I think. Seven, eight, nine, go with control. 10, we've got five more, let's count them down. And five, four, three, this is working strength, two, last one on this side, and one, bring it in, give it a little bit of love, let's flip it around and go on the other side. All right, forward and push up, bring this leg back, toe down, and one, two, three, Four, you should feel it right here. And five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've got five left. And five, four, three, two, last one. And rub that out. Okay. We're gonna do frog pumps and we're gonna use our dumbbells. So I've got tens, whatever weight you have. You can go pretty heavy on these if you like, if your hips are strong. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to lay on my back. I'm gonna put my weights right by my hips so they're handy here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to put your feet together with the knees out and you're gonna put the weights on your hips. Now you can either do it but the sideways like this, or you can put it right up and down. Now these are kind of pointy and they dig into my hips. So I'm gonna put them up, right? So watch for a few. <laughs> and so it looks kind of funny, <laughs> but it feels great. It feels so good strengthening the butt. Okay, so we're gonna go up and down. I'm gonna look right up at the sky and let's do 20, I just love these. All right, let's start. And one, all the way up, squeeze the booty at the top. Two, and three, your chin is up. Four, five, six. Now, if your feet are uncomfortable, you can move them out, move them in, or kick those shoes off. I think this is seven, <laughs> eight, nine. If you wanna go a little faster, you can. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, and down. And you might have felt that on your inner thighs as well. That is totally fine. We're working that section as well. All right. Put your weights to the side, and we're gonna work the quads, the thighs, the front of the leg. All right, we're gonna do B stance, dumbbell squats. You've got both your weights, and we're gonna do 15 reps. So what this means is we're gonna put one foot behind the other, and the back, heel is up. So do it with me. We're just going to go down and up. So you can see that my back is straight, fairly straight. Two, three, I'm looking fairly straight ahead. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going for fifteen and five, four, three, two, and 
one. Put these down, grab a sip of water. We're going to work the back of the legs, hamstrings, and I'm gonna add a little bit of a cardio element to this. Get the heart rate up, although right now, <laughs> my heart rate's up. I can, uh, I can feel my heart beating faster. My name is Nina. I'm a certified personal trainer and strength and conditioning coach. If you're wondering, who are you? <laughs> okay. So no weights on this one. We're gonna do butt kicks for one minute on one leg. Yep, it's gonna be awesome. Okay. So I've got my timer and ready and go. All right, you can use the arms, it actually helps. I'm trying to get my heel to my butt. Now, if I had a bigger booty, I'd probably be kicking right now. That's one of my goals, getting that butt bigger. <laughs> so when you lose weight, you tend to lose a little bit of butt fat. Kind of a bummer, but it's just one of those things. Keep going, almost done on this side. Heart rate should be climbing up. Yep, keep going, land softly. You might be feeling it on the standing leg. Keep going, almost done. Smile, it'll make the workout more pleasant. All right, almost done. Yep, keep going. <laughs> All right. Good job, that was definitely challenging. All right, sip of water. We're gonna go do our B stance squats on the other leg for 15 reps. Always hydrate with water. You don't need sports drinks. It's a waste of calories, waste of money. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the other foot back. All right, and you can stagger your stance any way you want. You can have it closer or further back. I kind of like a little bit further back, not quite, we're not doing a lunge, so it is closer. So you can even have it here if you like. Actually, I'm gonna just play around with the stance, and you can too, and to figure out which one you like better, all right? So I'm gonna start with closer, which means my heel or my toes can be closer to this heel. All right, so let's do one. Then I'm gonna try it a little further back. Two, I think I'll get closer. Three, yeah. Four, and I have my, my uh, hands a little further back to engage the back muscles. Five. Six, my knee is straight ahead. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Most of the weight is on my front leg. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Great job. Weights down. Second set for those butt kicks coming up. Another sip of water. All right, get ready. One minute on the other side. It seems like forever when you're actually doing the workout. Okay, get ready and begin. Butt kicks. Now you can have your hands here if you want. I kind of like moving my arms, just more fun. It kind of feels like I'm running in space. And then when you tap down that toe, make it really light so you're springing back up. So most of my weight is on this leg, so I really feel it in this quadricep here. So I'm working not just the hamstrings, but my balance, my thighs, my ankles, because I'm stabilizing my heart rate. So a lot of muscles working. Yep, I feel this quad saying muscle <laughs> is definitely working on this side. Yep, land soft. 
so your neighbors can't hear you. All right, great job. All right, moving on, take another sip of water. I love to hydrate between my sets. That way I drink all my water for the day. All right, let's move on to our chest, working a little bit of core as well. So we are going to do uh, chest T push-ups. So I'm gonna put the weights a little bit out of the way and I'm gonna give you two versions to choose from. One, you're gonna go into a plank. Your pinkies are out to the edge of the mat, actually a little bit out further. And when I, when I want you in your plank, I don't want you dipping. I don't want that booty up in the air. Should be straight. And I want your butt a little bit squeezed. Okay? So you're gonna go into a push up as low as you can with control. You're gonna go into a T, looking up at the fingers, back down, push up, other side. T, no rushing needed. Option two, on your knees. This is still challenging. So, squeezing my butt, same thing, going into my plank, up, back into my push up, other side, plank, and T on the other side. All right. This is strength, we're not gonna rush this. I'm gonna do it, the push-ups, on my toes. So we're gonna do a total of 10, which sounds like a lot, but it's five per side, all right? So this works chest, shoulders, core, ready? All right, push-up, and T, that's one. Push-up, T, two, push up, T, three, push up, T, that's four, push up, five, push up, T, six, push up, T, seven, push up, T, eight, push up, T, nine, last one, push up, T, and 10. All right, child's pose if you like. All right, maybe that wasn't so beginner. <laughs> that's okay, but then if you do just a couple, that's fine. Always gotta challenge yourself, right? Gotta push yourself a little bit more than you're used to, to help those muscles grow and get yourself stronger. Okay, the next exercise, this one's really fun. It's a back exercise. Works your, your lats and the upper back. So we're gonna do this really fun combo. So you can either do it on your mat from here, you do it from here. We're gonna do a row, and then we're gonna do elbow out. Or, you can do it standing, okay? Again, row, or a little further out. So I'm gonna show you from the side, so you can see what it looks like. Actually, let's start this way, okay? So, row, and let's do how many should we do? Hmm, let's do 16. <laughs> that's just eight for each one. So out. So that's two, okay? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. 
Okay, I'm using a 10 pound dumbbell, but whatever weight you've got is fine as long as it's slightly challenging for you. As long as you're using a good form, it's a good weight for you. All right, other side and row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Excellent. Put the weight down. Have a sip of water. All right, ready to work the shoulders and the biceps. Actually, let's just work the front delts, the deltoids of the front of the shoulders. I'm gonna start on my knees. Now you can do this on a chair if you like, or standing, but I'm gonna do it, this front raise on my knees, and this will prevent my low back from arching or some people lean too far back when it gets a little bit challenging so this will help prevent that all right shoulders back and down chest out squeeze that butt and one my elbows are slightly bent two we're going for 15 and three four five i'm just going to about shoulder height six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen all right felt that right here yep good all right let's grab both dumbbells this time you might need to go a little bit lighter on this we're not going to go for as many repetitions we're going to do 12 reps, all right? So my knees are slightly bent. My feet are a little bit further out than hip distance, shoulders back and down. All right, we're gonna do a hammer curl, bent arm lateral raise, scarecrow. That's one, okay? And two, we're gonna make it more fluid. And three, Probably should have picked a lighter weight. <laughs> Four, five. Oh yeah, burns already. Six. What was I thinking? <laughs> Seven. You can change the stance if you like. Eight. Oh, I'm gonna do ten. <laughs> Nine. Oh my goodness, this is so heavy. <laughs> and ten. If you can want to do 12 because your weights are <laughs> better suited for that particular exercise, go for it. All right, yeah, I felt that. And my biceps, I really felt it right here, radiating from the shoulders for those bent arm lateral raises. All right, last exercise. We're gonna do a rocking plank and then you're done. Hold the stretch, okay? And we're just gonna do it for 30 seconds, so hang with me. Okay, so on this one, we go into our plank. Now you have two options. One is you can do high plank, which I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna rock back and forth because it's fun. <laughs> or you can do an elbow plank from here. Again, remember, squeeze that butt. I'm just gonna rock back and forth, all right. Ready? Okay. And I'm gonna change this. It was on for a minute. That would be a little bit much. Let's do it for 30 seconds. Now don't collapse at the end. Stay for the whole 30 seconds. All right. All right, and plank. And then I'm just gonna rock forward and back because I like movement. I don't really like holding anything. So I'm just going forward and back. I'm straight. My butt is squeezed. So everything is straight. My fingers are spread wide and I'm almost done. 
or we're almost done. Keep holding, you got this. Good job, knees down. You wanna to go to child's pose, go for it. Ah, nice little stretch. Let's do a kneeling back bend. Hands behind the low back, interlace the fingers. Oh, it feels so good. Stretch out the chest. The chest area just gets so tight. We're always rounded, working on our computers all the time. All right, let's stretch out the glutes. Go into a figure four stretch by going onto your back. And this is my favorite stretch. Ah, uh, nap time. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> All right, cross one leg over, interlace your fingers in front of your shin, if that's too much, hamstring behind the leg, and we're just gonna rock and pull. So I'm giving little hugs. So this is a dynamic stretch, and so your body won't tense up. You're just pulling it in, giving it a little bit of hug pulses. My feet are slightly flexed. This one not so much. <laughs> Everyone's a little different. Just go for what feels good for you. Some people have really tight hips. Let's switch. So this one might be a little bit challenging. I actually have very flexible hips, but tight hamstrings. So, yep. So sometimes we just have areas that are tighter than others and my chin is up, I'm looking straight up at the ceiling, and I feel this stretch on this glute right there. Couple more. All right, I'm gonna put this foot down, the other foot in the air. I'm gonna stretch this hamstring, this tight hamstring. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I've got my foot flexed, and I'm gonna push into my hand. Okay, the flex foot. And then I'm gonna point, and I'm gonna pull it in. All right, so I'm gonna repeat that. Flex and point, flex and point. So flex and push, point and pull. 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 Let's do two more. Flex and push into that hand, point and pull it toward me. Flex and push, point and pull. Bend the knee and bring the knee toward the armpit for another hug, right? Because we can never get too many hugs. All right, other side and up. All right, and flex and push, point and pull. Flex and push. Point and pull. It's windy. Flex and push. You could probably hear the wind. Point and pull. Flex and push. I had a leaf just <laughs> land right on my face. <laughs> Flex and push. Point and pull. Flex and push. Point and pull. Let's do one more. Flex, push, point and pull. Bend the knee. Bring that knee toward the armpit for a little hug. All right, and go to your side. We're going to stretch this quadricep. Sometimes this gets tight, bringing that heel toward my butt and just bringing the shoulder back. And then if I need more of a stretch, I can pelvic tilt, squeeze my butt, and then I feel that stretch right here. Switch other side. Now, if you want to know how long to hold your stretches, 30 seconds is a good amount of time, up to two minutes. So 30 seconds and up to two minutes. All right, heel to butt and pull it back and squeeze. Squeeze that glute, pulling that hip back, shoulder back in case it rolls forward. Mine sometimes does. All right, sit up. Let's stretch out those lats. Okay, Sukhasana pose, just crossing your feet. All right, hand down. I love this one. 
taking this hip, pushing it into the mat so it's not lifted up. All right, and you can move it around a little bit. And you might feel that pull down here. Feels so good, doesn't it? Or maybe not so much. If it's too much, just don't do so much. I like to move a little bit around, up, and other side. Just moving a little bit. All right, stand up with me, slowly, carefully. All right, one last stretch. And just bring it up to the side, other side. I hope you like this workout. Let me know if you have any questions or comments, write them in the notes below. And if your goal is weight loss, definitely go for a low fat diet. Fat just has more calories than carbs and protein and the you know i heard one of the doctors say the the fat <laughs> dr john mcdougall says and so true the fat you eat is the fat you wear so focus your calories on carbohydrates and that will make you fuller and we're talking plant carbs we're talking healthy whole carbs like fruit and and uh, vegetables like sweet potatoes, yum. I mean, who doesn't love sweet potatoes? And a zero cholesterol diet that will make you healthy, it'll make you lean, it'll give you energy, it'll make you feel good, it'll be healthy, and you'll have so much energy. So have a great day. Drink lots, lots and lots of water and enjoy those carbs and hope to see you soon.